Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we're using a special mod called Calm Before the Storm. Now normally, I don't show you what we're going to start with, but we're going to start with the Weimar Republic, and we'll leave it on historical, in which we're going to explore a good old, maybe election or an assumption of power by a certain dude who uh, is very famous or infamous in history, but we're also using State Chester 2 mob, as well as player Love Peace Conferences, three mods in total. So, Germany in peril. No matter who you ask, Germany's in danger. Whether the threat is on the left, right, or center, there's always a threat. This is the cause and the product of instability that has lasted for 14 years, from the end of the Great War to this new year. On no the 11th of November, 1918, the German Empire surrendered to the combined forces of the UK, Third French Republic, and the US, ending four years of bloody trench warfare. The subsequent revolutions brought down the Kaiser and established a republic while at the same time leading to a downfall of the old communist movement in the country. The Treaty of Versailles, which entirely neutered our military and the subsequent occupations and economic hardships culminating in the hyperinflation crisis of 1923, has led to the rise of both far-left and far-right movements. We've been plagued by political assassinations, the machinations of influential figures, internal coups, and now the Great Depression. At the height of our fragile republic sits uh, General Paul von Hindenburg. The hero of the Great War, General Hindenburg, has been granted sufficient powers that his opponents feared would transition Germany into a dictatorship, though this has so far not happened. The old man is supported by the conservatives in the republic and are seen by some as a lost barrier between republic and revolution. However, he is nearly 90 years old and in failing health. It is clear that whatever direction Germany goes, he will not be alive to see it, and, he, and a certain dude, Hugenberg and the German far right. Some people wish to categorize German politics into two camps, nationalists and anti-nationalists. The nationalist arguments are based on the stab in the back myth, which holds that the economic deficiencies that led to Germany's defeat in the Great War were caused by sabotage which was allegedly perpetrated by Marxists and certain Jews. This only serves to fuel the nationalists already established anti-Semitism. The nationalists generally want to replace the parliamentary republic which they view as weakened and controlled by Marxists and or some Jews, with a dictatorial regime and even some wish to restore the Hohenzollern monarchy that was deposed 15 years ago. An out of all the nationalists is well known as Mr. Adolf Schmittler of the National Daddyist German Workers' Party. A veteran of the Great War, he joined the workers, German Workers' Party, now the NSDAP, in Munich, and soon became its leader. The failed Beha Putsch in Bavaria led to the arrest of the, uh, the Hitlerist leadership, which in turn has helped the dude to establish a powerful personality cult, which seems to be the only thing uniting the party. The party itself calls for the end of the parliamentary system and the establishment of a national Duda state where the Fuhrer has absolute power. Hitler would use his power to eliminate the perceived influence of Judeo-Bolshevik saboteurs and the Jewish capitalist elites. He would then rebuild Germany's military strength in defiance of international regulations and move to retake Germany's lost lands as well as fighting the Poles in the USSR in order to colonize their land and eliminate the Bolshevik influence from Moscow. The other primary German nationalist organization is the German National People's Party, led by the virulent nationalist Alfred Hugenberg. Like the Hitlerists, the DNVP wish to establish a far-right dictatorship, but with a few key differences. First, they wish to restore the German monarchy, unlike, and second, unlike the, uh, the dudes, the Nazis proclaimed anti-capitalist stance. The DNVP is unapologetically capitalist and support major firms, finally, where Hitler and his group uses revolutionary rhetoric. The DVNP is remarkably conservative instead, though they only pull in about a third of the votes as Hitler does. They're still a force to be reckoned with, and the left? Well, have some coffee or two to finish us off. Telemann and the German far left. The Communist Party of Germany was formed in 1918 by revolutionary socialists who had broken off from the Social Democratic Party over their opposition to the imperialist war. After the failure of the November Revolution, the deaths of Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht, and the victory of the Soviets in the Russian Civil War, the KPD became a pro-Soviet and pro-Stalinist organization under the leadership of Ernst Telemann, a veteran and longtime SPD member from Hamburg. Telemann was also USSR's preferred KPD leader, as he made sure he remained the chairman after he was removed from covering up embezzlement. Under the direction of the Soviet-controlled Communist International, the KPD are currently pursuing a policy of non-cooperation with other Marxist parties, as they are considered to be electoral competitors. This especially refers to the SPD, who are seen as social fascists for the policies of reformism. Though opposed to the platform are national socialists, they both collaborate on occasion against the Social Democrats, however. Any overtures made to the SPD by the KPD have likewise been rejected by the SPD's right wing. Thus, uh, KBT, KBD has declared itself to be the only anti-fascist party in Germany. The KPD's platform mirrors that of the Soviet Party, the All-Union Communist Party. It calls for the establishment of a Marxist-Leninist one-party state and the nationalization of all industries. Recently, due to the dismay of some KPD members and even Soviet observers, the KPD is taking an anti-Semitic and nationalist route in order to gain middle-class voters from the National Socialists, which has helped to spur an internal party conflict between Telemann and Heinz Neumann, who sees the Hitlerists as a greater threat. However, the party is not the only far-left movement in Germany. Parties have splintered off 
the KPT include the Communist Party of Germany opposition, a right opposition group that formed in response to the embezzlement scandal, and the Lenin League, a left opposition group that sided with the Soviet polit politician Grigory Zinoviev, who had recently been defeated by Stalin in a power struggle. The Socialist Workers' Party of Germany, the SAPD, formed as a leftist splinter group that formed the SPD in 1931. They supported a united anti-fascist front, and aimed for a partially revolutionary course. Other groups include the anarcho-syndicalist Free Workers' Union of Germany, a council communist and German workers' party, so who remains? The SPD and the German center left. Though the current government is made of out of right wing nationalists, G General Kurt von Schleicher's government is, for the time being, straddling the line between radical nationalism and right wing parliamentarianism. Though von Schleicher has authoritarian tendencies, he refuses to engage in assassinations and putsches, preferring to use political means to get his way. Though outwardly pro Hitler, he wishes to use a national socialist as a pawn in his bid to take over Germany. Though nationalist, he is more concerned about building up the army and enduring and ending parliamentary democracy than about expansionism and anti Semitism, thus setting him apart from the far right. However, a few center, center adjacent parties remain. The largest of these is the Social Democratic Party of Germany, the SPD. This party is a reformist Marxist party that led the revolution that brought down the monarchy fought the socialist revolutionaries and ruled Germany until 1920. The party supports a gradual transition to a social society within the framework of a liberal democracy and thus chose to work with the bourgeoisie parties against the far right and the far left extremists. This has led the, or had the effect of alienating the social democrats from the more left wing parties. The SPD has its own factional issues as there is a left wing which is more focused on socialist ideals and a right wing which is content with a welfare state. To the SPD's immediate right sits the left liberal German state party, the DSTP, formed the German Democratic Party, the DDP, Mer merged with the far-right Young German Order in 1928, leading to its electoral collapse and the resignation of the far-right members. A show of its former self, the D DSTP, continues to adhere to socially liberal ideals such as social security, the protection of democracy, and encouragement of private enterprise. The party also supports social progressivism, and as such as a base of minorities, uh, uh, minorities, educational professionals, and some members of the middle class and the center-right. And, for small text, the German People's Party is a nationally liberal party that has lost most of its relevance. Though it used to have Gustav Strassmann, an internationally respected Democrat, since his death, the party has moved to the right. They seek to restore the monarchy and pursue free market policies. Finally, there's the Catholic Center Party, the Zentrum. Zentrum is nominally socially conservative, but has somewhat left-leaning uh, economics. With a faction that is more accepting of such policies, Zentrum is the main center-right party and supports the democratic system while opposing the SPD. It's clear that if German democracy is to survive, these varied parties will need to set aside their differences and unite against extremists. Quite a situation, and I apologize for the long reading. But this is, since this is my first campaign in Calm Before the Storm Mott, I wanted to go through German politics because we'll probably revisit Germany quite a few times. Dynamic Focus Streets. The Calm Before the Storm mod uses a system of dynamic focus trees. This means as a game progresses, your trees may receive different components or switch to new trees entirely. This ensures that we can add large trees for different scenarios without causing overclutter. And unfortunately, we still have not done any of this stuff yet. Oh, look at all this stuff. Now, it is 1933. This is basically, quite literally, Calm Before the Storm. And I've not seen any of this stuff before, so we're going to learn this together. Why not? Synthetic oil might be really good. We could probably use that for Germany, probably. That sounds really, really good. Atomic research is in 1937. 34 is 33, so we've got to keep an eye on things. And I do apologize for talking quickly, just because I like to move very, very, very quickly. We're doing okay here. Aircraft. Oh, my goodness. Why can't we do any of this stuff yet? Dalmer Benz. Oh, so we need that company? Oh, Dalmer Benz. Oh, oh, this one? Ah, so we need this one first. In about a year, we'll be able to do that. Uh, we can always do naval stuff. Um, oh, that is 1922 stuff. Wow. 22, 36, 40, 44. Okay, that is interesting. Oh, you know what? Grab a carrier, because we can. Land auction. Oh, oh, we're going to... Oh, we can probably do that immediately. Is there anything else here? In 33, anti-air would be very good to do. Panzers would be nice. We obviously can't do that one yet. Do other stuff. Special forces would be very nice. But airborne soldiers. Anything else down there? No, we do not. Anything down here? Everything else is ahead of time. So, I guess we'll do a land auction. What else are we going to do about that? And we have, oh my gosh, yeah, oh, I hate the Versailles thingy, my bob. We have no field marshal. Let's get, let's get some civvies going. That'd be good. Let's see, 60, 60, 70. Uh, oh, these places just build them up. Just build them up. That's all we need for now. And Millie's. Oh, we're not even. Oh god, we. Oh no, we have bicycles and motorcycles. How do I do these? Cheap bikes for transporting troops. Motorcycles for quicker troop transportation. Great war artillery, anti-tank. Well, I like artillery. Let's grab some guns. Let's grab some of that. Let's grab some motorized. So we have those four. We're going to get some anti-air. I might not use anti-tank. It depends if the infantry divisions actually use anti-tank. Go low. Go high. Infantry divisions, they just need infantry stuff. And infantry division mit Unterstützung. Uh, actually, this is better to use now. And actually, do these guys use anti-tank? No, they don't. So we can ignore that for now. Oh, what is this? Party popularity. Oh, it's not very good. Uh, Freikorps? Oh, we love the Freikorps. How's... Oh, they're militia, though. Oh, I don't know if we love the Freikorps now, then. 
Uh, let's do that one too. I want Panzers. We're going to use a lot of Panzers in this campaign. Up uh, next, let's make sure we get plenty of tanks. Let's go with five on those guys. Fighters are nice. And interwar bombers. I don't want to use interwar bombers, I'll be honest. I really don't. So let's keep five on there. And make way more of that. And make two more there. And then make three there. And then, uh, there we go. And there we go. Not bad. Not bad. And naval stuff. Uh, let's take a look at our navy real quick. I apologize for this delay and just getting things started. Just, I wanted to show you guys the front picture. Because the front picture was very nice, actually. And Echo Rider, go ahead and lose all the fuel that we have. So we have not very much here. Kind of garbage. Ah, all these ships are pretty garbage, I'll be honest. Uh, even, I don't like using stuff like that. Panzer Schiff? Um, I'd rather not even use it. I'd rather just wait to upgrade that, so. Even though, actually, how good is this one? Early cruiser? Uh, I'd wait. Just, just wait, just go. Alright, it's running fairly smoothly, and we have no air force. Okay. Operation NECA? Cool, so this is my first campaign in this. Oh, how's China looking? Oh my goodness, China. Do they have unique focus speed? That'd be really fun to play as, probably. And try... Yeah, they do. To reunite China. Let me know in the comments if you want me to play as China sometime in Calm Before the Storm mod. Because that looks like a lot of fun. Look at the state of Manchuria, too. Oh, public works projects approved. In effort to combat the economic crisis, the Schleicher cabinet has approved today an ambitious public works program that expects to reduce the unemployment rate and build some needed infrastructure. With this move, the deeply unpopular chancellor also expects to gain some popularity. But many doubt that Schleicher's government will last long enough to reap the effects of the program. We need to fight the crisis. So there's nothing here. We're the Weimar Republic. And we can't do... Oh. We literally can't do anything. Oh, boy. Well, then. Ah, uh, von Hindenburg. And we are the bitter loser. Oh, anger against the government. God, that, you know, is this Germany or is this America? Or, okay, anyways. A grosser general stab. Economic crisis. Pretty normal. A motion of no confidence. Paramilitary divisions. And treaty Versailles. Oh, God, that hurts. But after Schleicher refused to let the Reichstag go into recess, many politicians have warned that once the parliament is reconvened on January 31st, it will start a motion of no confidence against the chancellor. Schleicher is deeply unpopular amongst the people, but he's also disliked amongst the politicians as a national socialist and former Chancellor Franz von Papen are working to bring him down and form their own coalition government with the DNVP. If we want to keep this cabinet afloat, we'll need to dissolve the Reichstag, but we need Hindenburg's approval for that. The Reichstag needs to be dissolved. Actually, we get 0.67 every day, and Hindenburg refuses our request. Something unexpected that has happened. As President Hindenburg has refused to dissolve the Reichstag as we requested. It seems that Franz von Papen's hatred of Schleicher has caught Hindenburg's ear, and it's clear that the President wants the Chancellor to resign. It is said that Papen and Hitler have an arrangement about a coalition government, but the DNVP and the more centrist parties are also potential options for the Chancellorship. Schleicher must resign. Yes. Oswald. And. Und. I'm the Reichskanzler. Ah, I wonder who we're going to choose. Well, Kurt von Schleicher has decided to resign his position as Reichskanzler. The Reichstag and the people do not support him, and President Hindenburg has to choose someone else for the position. Hitler and his national daddyists have popular support, but Hitler is clearly delusional, and some are worried about the excesses of his potential chancellorship. Alternatively, Alfred Hugenberg and the DNVP might be a better choice. They are slightly more moderate than the Nazis and might be able to garner support through similar policies and other possibilities for President Hindenburg to denounce anti-parliamentarianism and attempt to continue the democratic process. However, it will be necessary necessary for the Liberal parties to form a grand coalition to ensure the survival of the Republic. The military, on the other hand, has started to whisper about imposing martial law on the country. Although they are aware of the consequences, this might be the best course of action. A far-right candidate... Hmm... A democratic... A far-right candidate. We've chosen to pick a far-right candidate as Reich's Chancellor. While most in the government support Daddy Hitler and the leader of the NSDAP, there are concerns about those who support him will be unable to control him. Hitler runs on an extremely racist and militarist platform, calling for a national revolution to fight communism and minorities. Although his radicalism is roaring, he's incredibly popular. Should he become Chancellor, he can restore stability quickly. He also has support from some influential members of the general staff. A less radical option is the leader of the DNVP, Alfred Jugendberg. Jugendberg is a bourgeois nationalist who supports some levels of militarism and expansionism, but is far less radical than Hitler. Although he's also racist, oh boy, he does not follow Hitler's racial theories. His party also supports the restoration of the Hohenzollern dynasty. Jugendberg is less popular, but his anti-revolutionary stance could help preserve the old Germany while satisfying the people's desire for revenge. However, Jugendberg has gained notoriety for categorizing President Hindenburg as a November criminal responsible for Germany's defeat in the Great War. This has insulted the president on a personal level, but their views align more with each other than, than with the National Socialists. Shall we bite the bullet or swallow our pride? I want to get Mr. Funny Man. Mr. Mustachio, we get some pee, pee And if you get pee, pee with this dude, who's not to love? Hitler appointed German Chancellor. We'll be watching this with interest. Nothing can go wrong here now. But, Gleichschaltung. The National Socialist German Workers Party is officially a National Socialist Party claiming to represent the worker, but is really a platform for Hitler's personal messiah cult. These National Socialists believe that Hitler, and only Hitler, can save Germany. 
Nice. We love socialism of the nationalist kind here, don't we? Cool. Reichstag fire decree? Oh boy. The Reichstag fire is a perfect excuse to begin destroying German democracy. With Hindenburg's approval, we can now suspend many civil liberties and effectively dismantle the KPD as a political organization through a wave of arrests. Justified arrests. I love it. Himmler buys Wevelsberg. Oh! Well, chicken farmers just bought Wevelsberg, a large castle in Westphalia, to serve as an SS training and ceremony center. Not bad. Oh, look. And we are considered... Oh, we're just fascists. Oh, okay. Far right authoritarians. What's GG? Grosser General Stop. We have minus 1%. Oh, no, it's just 1%. It looks like minus... I don't know, maybe it is minus 1%. Really, no one likes market liberalism. Social liberalism. Social democracy. Democratic socialism. Social democratism. Revolutionary socialism, led by Paul von Hindenburg and the Reichstag fire. The Reichstag has been attacked at 1200 yesterday. The Berlin firefighters received a call from the Reichstag claiming it was on fire when they, were, when they arrived. The entire chamber of deputies was in flames, and after some efforts, they managed to put out the fire. So police arrested Marius von der Lubbe, a Dutch communist, accusing him of being the culprit of the attack. While the recently appointed Chancellor Hitler accuses the communists of plotting to destroy Germany, and has said that he's preparing to crack down on them using the fires as an excuse. This has made some people suspicious about a possible Nazi involvement in the fires, although nobody would dare to say that in public. In an accident or a plot, no one could deny that the Reichstag fire has been very useful for Hitler's dictatorial aims. How convenient! Oh boy, Kirchkampf? Uh, ooh, a new Reichstag. Er Machtgesungsgesetz. The Enabling Act, or the law to remedy the distress of people in the Reich, shall be a way to secure power, oh, FDR, in the nation by instilling full rule by decree. Essentially, the Reichskanzler will also be able to enact policy without the Reichstag. Elections! Elections called by Mr. Schmittler took place today. While other parties were allowed to participate, the elections were far from legitimate as Stubabteilung thugs attacked the homes and offices of known socialists, as well as trade union centers. It was also marred by the arrest of over 4,000 communists, including KPD leader Ernst Thälmann. The Communist Party of Germany was then outlawed. To make matters worse, Hermann Göring is ordered the police to fire on political opponents. Votes were also monitored by the SA, SS, and Stahlhalm, further ensuring a national socialist majority. This is a sham? It is not a sham. It is as it should be. I wonder if I can get this mo video monetized at all. Well, I guess we'll let you know in the next video, if I'm still here. Our own alliance. Oh boy, we create our own faction? Suppress religious organizations? We could probably do that too. Oh, what do we have actually? It's weird that we've occupied territories, collaborations, and managed subjects. But it's still only 33, so we've got plenty of time to do things. So... Oh, more civvy speed? We probably won't get more civvy speed. Why would we not choose Bobcock versus Krupp? This gives you 5% more research speed than this one, so Siemens is good and all. Military High Command. Can we go to, we can't go there yet, which is fine. We, need, we still have the Treaty of Versailles. Oh. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and do Krupp, because we love Krupp. Very nice. Coordinate the Civil Service. Centralize the Provinces. Yeah, let's get some more stability. Abolition of the Lander, the Pro German Provincial Councils, and the subordination of local bureaucracies to the Gottias uh, should effectively make the Fuhrer the ultimate authority in all of Germany, Hans Frank threatens Austria. Bavarian Minister of Justice Hans Frank has made a speech threatening the Republic of Austria with invasion due to their anti-national socialist actions. Although no Germans are prepared to follow through, it may at least show that the, we are willing to take this action, however. This still may not have the, been the right idea. Our military is not back yet? No, it is not. We need more time to get it back, so. Today we are stronger. If you like to read about the enabling uh, act, please go ahead and new flag for Germany. After the appointment of Hitler as Chancellor, it is clear that the Republic was something of the past. Uh, the black, red, gold flag needed to be scrapped. Today, President Hindenburg has signed a presidential decree declaring the old imperial black, white, red flag, together with the NSDAP, as a new symbol of the country. Many wonder if the imperial flag will stick for long, as Hindenburg is very old and Hitler has no desire to keep him around. We return to our roots. Return to tradition. Ah, that's a beautiful flag. Oh, anger against the government. We probably want to remove the anger. You get more political instability? Why not? Sondergericht. Sondergericht. Special courts should be used as political courts to eliminate dissidents and rivals. Awesome. And I see we can do the economic Gleichschaltung as well. So we'll do that one eventually. Um, work towards the sure. We get less daily political power. Economy laws goes down. Bad political parties, that might not be bad. Uh, we could probably do this one. Economic Gleichaltung. Our economic efforts will be focused on regaining military strength. Some civilian investments will be made, but the military is our primary concern. Oh, less training time. Hitler Youth? We move against the churches. Do we have anything else unlocked here? Not yet. Expand military construction. It has to be after August 1st. We lose political power. We've got much more military factory construction speed, which is not bad. And there's nothing there on the far right side. Signing of the Four Powers Pact. Mussolini's efforts to push towards a treaty aiming to maintain peace in Europe by emphasizing the rule of the four major states. 
has succeeded as it was met with warm reception across the board, albeit symbolic. The treaty has positive indication for future cooperations in Europe. Well done. Well done. Uh, cool. Oh, we can, oh, ban these guys? Uh, the communism, the communists uh, are the only real threat to the NSDAP at the moment. We must ban them and make sure that they cannot coordinate against us. Ban the SPD? Promote Maximilian von Dijk's? Uh, yeah, why not? SPD? The SPD uh, has voted against enabling act. We should ban them to prevent any future resistance. Yes. Here's that one. Ban both. The Institute for Sexual Research is closed down. Founded in May of 1919, oh, the Institute for Sexual Wissenschaft has served as an archive, research facility, and medical clinic with the aim to study and promote sexual rights and well-being in Berlin. Notably, the Institute has made strides in the understanding of homosexuality and transsexuality, as well as the promotion of these groups' rights. Our government, on the other hand, considers such attitudes to be morally depraved and biologically unnatural. As such, we have organized for the members of the Deutsche Studentschaft, German Students' Union, to march on the Institute and storm it while Dr. Hirschfeld, the founder, was out of the country. This is several thousand books, images, and lists of clients. In a few days, these books, images, and magazines will be publicly burned along with the works by leftist Jews and pacifists. Soon, the day will come when the science will triumph over error. Very cool. And coordinate the civil service. Coordination of the civil service means removing any non-Nazi bureaucrat to ensure that our government is perfectly in tune with our ideology. And integrate far right parties. Oh, join a coalition. Integrate all organizations. Create the Geheimstaatspolizei. Hans Frank deported from Austria. Hans Frank's tour of Austria has gone awry as he took the opportunity to speak against out against the Austrian government. Not wanting to take any risks, Austrian authorities have deported him. That fool. Oh, look at that. I like that one. Integrate national socialist propaganda. Operation Colibri, huh? Paramilitary divisions. Okay, we remove that. Oh, get more population stability. That's not too bad. But coordinate the civil service first. And very soon we will have it. Happy June, everyone. Happy June. Oh, uh, Von Hindenburg. What do you have over here? Autobahn, mass privatization, consumer goods for a while. Oh, uh, nothing here that... Oh, German labor front. A uh, deck conversion is very nice. It is 33. Let's grab some of that. Oh, no, we can't do that one. God dang it. Um, Anything else down here yet? No, it looks like all the naval stuff is pretty normal, like... We'll do relatively okay with all this stuff. I guess we can get some better anti-air, because anti-air is always good to grab, actually. It's very good to have. Anything else over here? Oh, we need more command power. Alright. And I'd like to get down here, but... Working with a fear. Integrate the youth. Mass privatization. Court banks. Let's do mass privatization next, just because... It's running on day focus. Well, uh, I would like to get civvies as fast as possible, even though we can't really build too much up yet. So it's worth getting. Uh, 33, 34. There's really not much we can do. Oh, I guess we can do air... I don't really want to use airborne. Marines? We might use Marines eventually, so we'll do that one. So, mass privatization. Most state enterprise should be privatized, including the banks, the roadways, and welfare organizations. Doing so will give us more money for our massive military spending, and making these businesses more friendly to our regime, which is probably really good to have. Economic and mechanical devices. Very good. 35. Is there anything else here we can do? It does not look like we can. Anything else here? Not really. Oh, there's stuff on the far left side. Cool. Uh, air doctrine, we could probably do that as well. I really want to make sure our navy is okay as well. Uh, do some of that stuff. And we have no fuel. Because we're training. As much as we possibly can. Not very much every day, but it'll it'll be okay. After my privatization, uh, the death of Hindenburg. Uh, we probably want to rush down that, that way as fast as possible. Um, integrate the Hitler Youth. Why not? They're both from a new government in Norway. All right. Although the Hitler Youth already exists as party function, it should exist both as a party and a state organization in line with their Gleichschaltung policies. Oh, we can do withdraw from the League of Nations. Central European and Balkan destruction. Heim in Reich. Have to be after 1936. Northern direction. Okay. Defensive treaty with Denmark. Eastern European direction. Has to be after 1934. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. Of course, the earlier you get, or you start, the more different takes you can have, but after court business, yeah, I want to do that one. That's 60 days, though. I think we're going to rush. Let's rush for that one. So, integrate far-right politicians? Why not? Or political groups? The political groups already on the far right might as well become part of our organizations. We need to do so anyway to establish complete, utter control. And we only get how much every day? 0 0.06. Oh, that's so bad. The Treaty of Versailles is so bad. Oh, we could go on and on about it. Integrate all organizations for seven days? Yes. With all of the political groups out of the way, all other organizations, be they choirs, football clubs, even the lowliest of knitting circles, must come under government control. Only the army and the churches will remain separate for now. I guess we're very religious here. And we'll probably abuse and use those churches until we don't need them anymore. 
Nice. Create the Geheimstaatspolizei. A secret police state will be our counter dissident unit, fighting and removing any kind of anti national socialist activity. Very good, as it should be. Um, yeah, since we're here, I really want to make sure we have a really good naval doctrine, which we might do some air stuff as well. We'll see what happens, though. Good. I love these short focuses. National so socialist propaganda. Increasing propaganda output will be key to securing a positive public opinion of the Reich. Is that a woman? I hope it is. Marines won. Very good. Special forces? Might as well, since we're here anyways. Alright. We can improve stability. Actually, 46%. That's not bad. Oh, uh, our coalition is made up of 3% far-right authoritarians and 43% fascists. Cool. Heavy equipment? Oh my goodness, what do we want? I want medium tanks. I want to use a lot of medium tanks. But at the same time, I love artillery. But tanks. We're going to go tanks, tank it out. Um, aircraft and... Oh. Naval research speed. Less attack. I don't like less attack. Oh. Research speed is not bad. I do want to research more air stuff. Air is going to be extremely important. But what about light equipment? Ooh, less production cost. That's okay. Defense and breakthrough is not bad. Soft attack? I like that. Uh, defense is not bad, but soft attack is always good to do. Just because you use it on attack and defense, I'm pretty sure. So, I think that'd be worth it. In the meantime, National Daddyist Propaganda. I don't remember when Hindenburg died. I thought it was 34, but Operation Colibri. The Strassers and the SA still pose a mild threat to power. We must eliminate them by force. Very nice. And how are we... We're actually slowly building up. That's not too bad. It'll be done... Next one will be done by December. Do we actually have planes here? If we, we don't have any you know, fuel, but... Oh, we have no manpower. We do it one more time, maybe. At least get a few... At least get one plane out. One plane out. There you go. That's all we want. Just a single plane. And now we have no manpower. There you go. Cool. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Because I have to be after third... Oh, okay. Well, let's go and do it. Ban political rival parties. All political parties, with the exception of the NSDAP, will henceforth be banned. Only we will be allowed to wield political influence. Nice. And we get more stability, too. Geheime Staatspolizei. Well, we didn't form an agency yet, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. 10 out of 15. Not bad. And Kutchenkampf. The influence on Christianity on how our on our new order is unacceptable. We must immediately take steps to ensure that these two incompatible entities do not bring each other to ruin. So historically, I did double check, and we only go to the left side and proclaim the Reich Evangelical Church and do a Reich's Concordat, but we could move against the, the group anyways. But elections of 1933, the first elections called after the consolidation of the National Socialist Power. This election is unlike any other seen in Germany. Instead of voting for candidates in secret ballots, voters very publicly were presented with a National Socialist or pro NSD. NSDAP guest candidate, and they voted yes or no, of course. Anybody who thought about voting against a candidate were threatened, including entire communities. And when the votes were counted, all no votes were simply declared invalid and discarded. Barbaric, I think this is absolutely acceptable. The Senate right wins the Spanish election. That really was a surprise. Okay, cool. Yeah, we definitely need the church on our side for now. The Protestants and the Catholics, as much as possible, so we can consolidate power. Very good. So, if you want to read about the right side here, you can go ahead and move against the church, as well as draft the clergy, which sounds really cool. Recruit frontline chaplains sounds really awesome as well, but proclaim the Reich Evangelical Church. Although we are anti-Christian, we must fir first move to co-op the churches before outright moving them. Ah, gotta snake ourselves into there and destroy them from the inside out. And to can outright ban them. Cool. And then we have five days. Four days left, not too bad. Man, what's the core population? 65 million? That's not bad. To effective total manpower modified to 30%. <laughs> oh, not bad. But then the Reich's Concordat. The Concordat between the Holy See and the German Reich should be a temporary stopgap to turn some Catholics to our side, but there should be no reason for us to follow up on this agreement. The U.S. withdraws from Nicaragua? They gave up? Okay. Nice. Very nice. And then we can do work towards the Fuhrer. We'll do Operation Colabride next, because it's shorter and we don't lose political power. The Strasserists, of course, I've already read this, and the SA still pose a mild threat to our power. We must eliminate them by force, because without force, what are we? Oh, von Weitz? Von Lieb? Suppress religious organizations? Our government is blatantly anti-religious. We should use the SS to pressure religious groups into submission. So we basically lose 20 political power and get 2% more stability. Expand the Leibstandard. Although the Leibstandard is currently a small paramilitary force meant to protect Nazi officials, we can expand it using assets to recruits into a full Panzer Division. Oh, that's really cool. SS Panzer Division. Nice. Very cool. And we're going to remove this one. 
and the work towards the Fuhrer. And a new bureaucracy working with the Fuhrer means to take actions and policies that are in line with Hitler's ideology without direct orders from Hitler. Those who do so successfully are expected to gain favor. Additionally, Hitler will often give orders to bureaucrats, often making them oppose each other to get the job done. Very nice. Airborne. It is 34, so we actually have probably a few things we can do here. Factory output. That stuff is a little bit ahead of time. Fuel capacity is not really worthwhile, it's my opinion, for now. Um, less fuel usage and more max speed. Oh, yeah, we want to do that one, definitely. We want to get better planes, better planes, better planes. And we'll keep going down our land auction as fast as possible, probably. Even though it's going to take 409 days. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Oh. Work towards the Fuhrer. Nice. I forget when he dies, but the death of Hindenburg. Hindenburg's death is very tragic, of course. But with him out of the way, we can begin even more <clears throat> fun policies. This branch of the focus tree will be unlocked. Well... I don't remember when he died historically, but whatever. Yeah. Himmler establishes the first Yokoshula. In order to better indoctrinate the SS trainees with Himmler's ideology, as well as train them for the service within the SS, Himmler has established Junker schools to provide this training. These future officers learn how to be an effective officer. Some have combat skill, economic skill, but are primarily indoctrinated with national socialist ideology. While well, the first of these has been established in Bad Tuz, Himmler plans to create a second one in Braunschweig. Braunschweig. If this benefits the regime, then okay, all right. And the Friedolin Glass on his unit. Command the Friedolin Glass of the Austrian SS subordinate has subordinated his unit, the Vienna SS Standard 89, or Neun und Axisch, directly to the SS in Berlin, breaking away from the SA Oberabschnitt uh, the 11th in Munich or Elf. This is only served to exacerbate tensions between the SA and the SS. We will watch with we will watch Commander Glass. Cool. You know, we should probably put a border here against somewhere. Oh, the Austria, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't really matter for right now. 17th Party Congress of the USSR. We love the USSR. Look at the, look at that here. Look at this guy. He looks like an artist. Well, he's not dead yet, so court businesses? Why not? Although we support private enterprise, all enterprise must be synchronized with the political and ideological needs of national socialism, much like the rest of society. And we can also improve ourselves here. Oh, how to get rid of Versailles? So bad. And how much put up our points four six? That's not much. Uh, the economy somewhat recovers. Due to the natural market activity, the effects of the Great Depression have been somewhat abated. Although memory of the hyperinflationary period does not help to restore confidence in the economy, the average German still cannot deny that their lives are getting somewhat better, however. Despite our optimism, we shall just have to wait and see. Hooray for progress. Nice. Awesome. 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 Um, cast manufacturer? I want a lot of casts. I really do. But fighters are always good to get. Booker Flugzeugbau? Um... Reliability and range, max agility. I like agility. If I remember correctly, agility is really the best one to do. You know, everything is important, but... Meza Schmidt. Get more research speed going. And we might get some more stability, actually, too. But we'll see what happens. Radar patrols are nice. Let's come back over here. Engineering. That stuff is good. Air stuff. Let's come back to uh, artillery. Yes. Better artillery. Yes, please. Cult businesses. Nice. And we can do... Oh, we can do this. Expand military construction. Uh, war more contracts, increase naval production, reintroduce conscription. I like that, but we don't have to do that one yet. Oh yeah, a military factory would be nice. Withdraw from the League of Nations, we might do that too. Limit foreign trade, increase construction spending, I like that. MEFO bills, Beca will become due in five years, oh boy. Reorganize corporations, move towards autarky, promote automobile production. Hmm, what are we going to do? Expand military construction maybe? Uh, if we are to be ready for war. We obviously need more factories to produce weapons. Yeah, it seems... Eh, we're not really going to build th that stuff up yet, though. Nordlang Velog is a newly founded SS-owned corporation. It is meant to publish SS propaganda. This should be more interesting to watch, as Himmler has never conducted or managed a business in his life. Interesting. Cool. The Confessing Church. In opposition to our anti clerical policy, several Lutheran pastors met in Bauman in the Rhineland to issue an official statement declaring the Benedictia, or the Confessing Church. They declare themselves to be independent of any Reich organ, yet are not a full resistance movement. German Christians have had better shy away from them. Autobahn, lower taxes, that's not bad. Um, consumer goods, national labor. I kind of want to do that one. Let's see what over here. National Socialistische Volkswagen. Instead of liberal socialist welfare programs, the National Socialist People's Welfare will give welfare only to those fit to receive it. It shall be funded by donations, which are freely given by the German people. We do have a little bit of manpower now, not bad. And we'll be able to very soon to get two more whole civilian factories. Very good. And we'll go ahead and withdraw from the UN after Hindenburg dies, just because well, we don't want to see things happen here.
Still 0.51, not bad. And then, after we're going to make some civvies. Actually, how many civvies do we have? 15? Not bad, not bad. We're getting stronger and stronger every day. I'll do Deutsche Arbeit's front. We shall abolish all trade unions except for our German labor front. However, instead of trying to bring benefits to the workers and peace to the workplace, the DAF shall only exist to increase output, which is very good. Very, very good. Oh, carry operations, very nice. Um, we're doing this already. Get some better anti-air, because I don't want to produce garbage. No one wants to produce garbage, of course. 54%. Beautiful. Oh, effects from recurrent popularity, more daily political power. Oh, I didn't know we can do that. Very good. After that one, begin construction of the Autobahn. The construction of highways will provide us with new strategic supply routes as well as benefit the civilian population. Better planes yet? Yes. But we can't do that quite yet. Uh, that stuff is okay. We don't need to do that stuff yet. Armor? Yes. We want better panzers. The best panzers. And I can't wait to get involved down here in Eth Oh, Ethiopia's a different color. Apuchi in Austria. Commander Friedolin Glass, the SS commander who notoriously, notoriously broke from his SA command earlier this year, has come together with Hauptschulungsleiter, main facilitator, Otto Wächter, Stabsleiter der Landesleitung Rodolf Weidenhammer, SS Oberführer Alfred Rodenbuscher, and SA Standarten für Hans Rauter to plan a coup against the Austrian government. Such a coup would replace the current Austrian leadership with a national socialist leadership, which would be then announce the annexation of Austria into Germany. The plan looks like it may just work. I want one of these guys here. Oh, von Kluge, Wetzleben. Uh, Wetzelben. Wetzleben. Uh, Franz Wetter von Liebe. Cool. Deutsche Arbeitsfront. <clears throat> Begin the Autobahn construction, please. Thank you. Oh, look at all this. German Labor Fund. The German Labor Front is the only legal trade union in the Reich. Its purpose, however, is not to support workers' rights through mediation, but to increase production. It works under the principle of the people's community, or the Volksgemeinschaft. The work front makes sure that every possible amount of work is squeezed out of the workers, but to also provide the workers with job security in exchange for loyalty to the regime. Redraft employment contracts, improve working conditions, Kraft durch Freude. Oh, more stability. Schönheit der Arbeit. Was it freedom through work? Ooh. Huh. Let's and protection. Transfer police power to Himmler. I kind of want to do that one. Giving Himmler power over the Gestapo would consolidate our internal security under one umbrella. While well, protection squadron began as Adolf Hitler's personal bodyguard under the leadership of Heinrich Himmler, it has grown into a larger paramilitary unit. Himmler himself is a madman, perhaps more so than Hitler, who believes in mysticism and neo-paganism. While the SS harbors pretensions of being some kind of elite force, in reality they are no more than alcoholic thugs in uniforms, and President Hindenburg dies. Oh no! Von Hindenburg has died today as a metacized bladder at the age of 86. Wow. Considered to be the national hero, the former field marshal fought both on, three, on the battlefield and on the Reichstag floor. Serving as chief of the general staff for three years and as president for seven, he has also served in the army of three nations, the Kingdom of Prussia, the German Empire, and the Weimar Republic for a total of 50 years. Notably, he was the last check on Hitler's regime. And now that he is dead, Adolf Hitler is free to take full power as Führer and Reich's Chancellor of Germany today. The sun is finally set on the old Germany, and a new totalitarian Reich takes its place. I wonder what the future holds. Very cool. The Austrian Putsch approved the plan. Commander Glass and his fellow conspirators have presented the final version of the Austrian coup to the plan to the Fuhrer. The personnel and equipment shall be prepared, and it is now up to Adolf Hitler to authorize it. Should the plan succeed, Austria will have a government that will work quickly to unite Austria with Germany. Should it fall, we could have a national crisis on hands. This is too great. Um, the August Pooch. Um, hey, it's Mr. S uh, Mr. Uh, Mustache Man. Okay, cool. And then we can do this stuff, too. I don't know which one's historical. If this is a mistake, um, I'm just going to go and say... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We have the Vandenberg, though. Oh, goodbye. The Pooch is a failure. Glass's plan failed, as the Austrian army did not turn against the government as he predicted, but actively worked to put down the Pooch. Although the Austrian Chancellor was killed, the federal state of Austria survived. We could, of course, threaten war. The Austrian government might see annexation as a workable alternative to chaos. Take advantage of the situation. I want to say, since we're on historical, we're not strong enough yet. We will do it. I really want to ask him, but we're not strong enough yet. A Getulio Vargas re-elected in Brazil. Odem e progresso. We're not strong enough yet. Give us time and we will be strong enough. Send tanks to Mexico. They've requested some of our tank prototypes to rebuild their army. What should be our answer? Refuse? Sure, why not? Actually, does Mexico have unique focus tree? Yalisco? They do! They kind of do have unique focus tree. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, why are we doing anti-tank? Uh, we don't really do anti-tank yet. Uh, get some better engineers. I like that. I prefer that. There you go. 
Actually, oh, converted battleship hull. Uh, what? I never actually look at these guys. One, and then five, and then you guys have none. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, converted cruisers. That is so god awful. Uh, honestly, let's make a carrier. I don't like using these, and I usually like putting some deck armor on here just in case we get attacked. But we can use this, because ultimately, the carrier itself doesn't mean too much of anything. What really matters is that we can throw on... Ooh, that's not too bad. Um, this is better, though. This is definitely better. We can throw on planes, and the planes will be upgraded. Those are the things that get upgraded. So, the light attack these guys do doesn't mean anything really too much. HP, that matters. Dex size is not bad, but really... Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Yeah. Just in case I get attacked, so... It's not great, but this will at least give us some sort of... Uh, I would say an advantage in the sea or ocean, but it should help out at least a little bit. Screw it, we'll make a lot of these guys, actually. This is, I'll never make carriers, especially as Germany, but sometimes it's fun to do so. But the Fuhrer ride. Now that Hindenburg is dead, we can go ahead and make all soldiers swear unconditional allegiance to the Fuhrer. What's not to love? We love Himmler. Uh, we have to wait until 38 for this, so close that out for now. We're definitely not going to get there in this episode. We barely hit 1934. We might hit 35, but we'll see. The Nuremberg rallies? Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Vox Gereichshof. Yes, more the political power. The People's Court will be a special court in order to serve as a political military court that specializes in show trials. In most cases, we will barely have to make a trial. Formalized press control. No, all the knowings pull high. Let's do the National Politicia. Uh, as Elzi Hungstalstalten. Oh boy, I can't see that one. Elzi Hungstalstalten. Youth selected to be the future political leaders will be educated at Adolf Hitler schools and then move to National Political Institutes of Education. We get more fascism, more stability, but we lose a little bit of pee-pee, which is not great, but hey, we'll take it. Cool. The Reinhard program. Oh, lost. Oh, the commune's risen up, huh? That's kind of cool. We keep making civvies. We're going to need a lot of them. And let's go ahead and Schund Arbeit. Strength through unity. Strength through joy. Oh, not unity. Uh, Kraft der Freude. Strength through joy will be a leisure organization for workers administrated by the German Labor Front. Its goal is to bring middle class entertainment such as cinema, luxury cruises, and sporting events all at low prices. This is a giant propaganda effort made to turn the workers from social democracy and communism towards national socialism. We might as well do that since we cause a lot of political power anyway, so. Nice, 60% is pretty good. So after that, we can't do anything down there. We must keep going down here. But since Hindenburg is gone, we're going to withdraw from the League of Nations. The League of Nations, useless as it is, stands against our plans for conquest. Absolutely. Build, build, build. More production, please. Well, no, please. You're going to do it. That's good as well. Armor's looking pretty good. We can get some... Oh, what is that? Improved tank models. That's kind of cool. Support companies. Get some of that, too. We're going to have the best police here. The best police. Oh, wow. Look at all these guys. SS Panzer Divisions. They're not... Great. <laughs> They're definitely not great. Oh boy, the SS. Oh, you, the SS. Withdraw from the League of Nations. And then, since we're down here, anyways, traditionalism. Despite our national revolutionary doctrines, national socialism is still a socially reactionary movement. In addition, anti intellectualism in our country must become unofficial in national policy. We lose research speed, but we get some more war spart. So be it. So be it. Control the arts. And promote the Volksgemeinschaft. I like that. A lot of the stuff here could be taken out of context that I'm saying, or half said already. Yeah, I don't want to get more military... I don't want to lose political power. Military factories are nice and all, but... Civvies are where it's at right now. Ooh. Western direction. Northern direction. Eastern European direction. Let's do that one next. I want to see what happens with that. Poland and Lithuania both own former German land, and the Soviet Union stands mockingly against us. We must put them all in their place, which would be very good. All right, everyone, so we've just finished off having an Eastern European direction right now. We may want to have a non-aggression pact with Poland. We should sign a treaty with Poland, in which we recognize each other's borders and end the customs of war. Really, we're just buying ourselves time to rearm, which is probably the most important thing to do right now. So, And that non-aggression pact, it probably end, will be by September 1st, 1939. But you never know. You never know. But the Salon goes with Germany. The people of the Salon has voted to return to Germany. The transfer in the state of the shall be immediate, and the League of Nations administration shall leave the area in exchange for the German one. Deutsch ist dieser. Dieser. Sar. Sar, good. Get the French scum out of here. Uh, what is next? Anything else? Uh, Schönheit der Arbeit? Commission the Volkswagen. Ooh. 
Own some civvies. We should make sure that Hitler's promise is kept to make sure that a family size mid range car is available at a thousand Reichsmarks or less. However, bureaucratic officials and diplomats will be given priority first, of course. Should height? Mm, let's do the improved working conditions. Giving the workers regularly scheduled breaks, standardized working times, and better cafeterias and canteens will help us ensure their loyalty, as well as redraft employment contracts. The old Weimar regulations gave way to low production and low job security. Our new laws will make sure that employers can get more out of their workers, but to make it harder to fire that workers without offense, and shouldn't hide to Arbeit. The beauty of labor, propaganda, ministry will work under the DAF to appease its workers. <clears throat> It will campaign for a cleaner and more professional workplace in exchange for absolute loyalty, of course. So Poland signs a non-aggression pact. The Poles have signed the non-aggression pact we offered them. The spies, it's time to prepare for war. We shall be victorious once more. Very good. Just in case for the uh, future. We'll put it yeah, for the future. For the future. Uh, next, please. The Reinhardt program. Yes, please. And in addition to our highway programs, we should be con we should construct new railroads and waterways while reducing taxes on the people. How are we going to pay for this? Don't ask. Or we will put you in, in a prison cell or something like that. You know. Keep building them civvies up. More civvies. More, 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 more. And I'm glad we have crew up here already. That's very good. And how are our ships? We have... Oh. We have two battleships. Pre-dreadnoughts, though. They're not very good. And that's why I went with carriers. Because stuff gets outdated, but planes can already adapt to whatever they need. And this Panzer ship is this one, which is... Uh, it has torpedoes and stuff, but whatever. Increase the military budget while cutting taxes, probably. Our military budget must be increased in order to restore the Wehrmacht to prepare for the coming war. Awesome. And actually, since it is February 1935, we can do this one as well. We get limited conscription to remove... Ah, we probably won't go down, go that way as fast as possible. So expand military construction. Of course, I've already read this. If, we're ready, if we are to be ready for war, we obviously need more factories to produce weapons. Because we love weapons here. And 69, nice percent. Like us, the SS begins with the anti-religious training. It's no secret that a government sees religion as something to be controlled or eliminated, unless it poses a risk or power. The SS began training their members to rena renounce Christianity and have increased their attempts to push Himmler's neo-paganism on their trainees. They go so as far to have made up wedding ceremonies and celebrations of the winter solstice. All right, and we found, and he founds Annenerba. Hitler, Himmler has created the ancestral heritage organization as an umbrella agency to be organized to organize over 50 organizations. The purpose of these organizations is to find scientific evidence for Himmler's mystical racial theories. Even some of the leadership of the regime is thinking that maybe it's going a bit too far. This could perhaps be useful in propaganda, but just perhaps. Maybe. We have a lot of naval XP, which is really nice right now. Keep building, 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 building. We definitely need more guns, though. Oh, do we? Oh, we finished off one panther shift, maybe. Oh, good, good, good. It is 35. Anything else for industry? We want to be the tip top of industry. Versatile production, concentrated cap, or 5%. Yeah, this one's better. So 50% more growth, more efficiency base. I like the base. Factory output would be very nice. Construction speed, that'd be so good to get. Let's get the modern construction methods. That'd be very good. Cool. Increase the military budget and expand the military construction. Followed up with. Uh, let's see. Let's get increased naval production, too. We can use that to get more ships out faster, faster, faster. With a new naval budget, we can expand construction of dry docks to produce our new fleet, which is great. 38-day focus? So be it. The Triumph of the Will. Triumph des Villains, or Triumph of the Will, a new movie by Leni Reifenstahl, has premiered today. It depicts a Nuremberg rally of 1934, although it is blatantly propaganda. It is loved by the party, especially Hitler, and thus it is sure to be success. Hitler himself congratulated Reifenstahl on her work. Ah, oh, so good, so good. Elastic defense. Um, well, I want to continue going down this way. I want to wait just a little bit first. Actually, how much? We're getting stuff. Every, Grossa General Stab. I love that. I want to wait just a little bit more. I want to do more of this stuff over here, too. Uh, synthetic refiners are not bad. It's more output. Improved industrial capacity. We can wait maybe just a little bit on land auction. Maybe. I don't really know, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we need way more cities. Can, ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we did that? Let's get rid of that. Go down to one. So this way we have one extra, so this way we can just go ahead and do commission the Volkswagen. So, and get another civvy for, in 40 days. So that's, that's pretty good. So, up next, increased naval production is very good. And what else? Award more contracts. German companies will meet our demands for military production or else. Pretty much. And which we will probably do some of the stuff soon. Yeah, we'll probably definitely do that. We'll promote automobile production. Now, we can support the technocrats versus support the autox with Goring. Now, historically, I did make sure that... Uh, that we, we will go with autox, but if you want to read about this... Oh, no, never mind. The Great Depression no longer affects Germany. Through a combination of state policy and natural market activity, the German economy has successfully mitigated the effects of the Great Depression. Although the average German is tentatively satisfied, the memories of the crisis and the hyperinflationary period still linger. The government, however, has lost no time in celebrating. The crisis is over. Yeah, this is really good for more daily army XP. 
Treaty for size, so there, Hitler Youth Training, da da da. Uh, economic crisis. 10% more consumer goods, 15% more construction speed, as well as a cap and output. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we should be blazing along here now, a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. Not much faster, but a little bit faster. Because uh, after this one, we will do award more contracts. So we get a military factory. Please, is nice. Let's see. Anything over here? Uh, no. Uh, radar would be very nice to get as well, though. 35. Anything here? Anything here? Oh, let's grab some of that. MG14s? Actually, let's take a look at that. Yeah, automatic fiery. Fiery. Oh, nice. And we'll grab some of that, too. Cool. Keep building, 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 building. Faster, faster, faster. We do have a lot of PP. Ah, yes, good. Look at that first. Contracts, thank you. I kind of want to wait, because we can jump to early mobilization pretty quickly as long as we remove the Treaty of Versailles with reintroduced conscription. The Treaty of Versailles is dead. The German military must receive a large expansion to serve as an Arbeiter of Germany's will. In which we will get 50% more factory output. Oh my goodness, that hurts so bad. Command power and recruitable population, that would be very, very, very good. And let's go with vert versatile production. That would be very nice too. Yeah, I'll save some of our PP up. Ah, working towards a fear. Who doesn't love it? Who doesn't love it? And this one will be done so soon. We want the BWs, please. How do we do this one? We need more equipment. Yeah, once we get rid of the Treaty of Versailles, we'll be okay. Czechoslovak Republic, all right. Come on, any day now? Any day? It is now July 1st, come on. Okay, maybe not. Man, you guys take forever. July 7th, which is right now. Cool. That's 36. Oh, dispersed industry concentrated. Oh, look how big this place is. I love it. More fuel would be very good as well. But we have there's so much we need to do here. So much. So little time. Let's let's keep going with this one for now. Uh, since we're building up anyways, build, build, build. 70%. And then boom, 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 boom. Nice. All that stuff needs to be built. Eventually we, we will build roads all over the place. The Autobahn is just what we really want to build eventually. But I will be throwing a lot more things in here before we actually do all this infrastructure construction. My apologies, but denounce the Treaty of Versailles. Good. Very good. Signal companies are nice as well, and it is almost 36, but we can kind of wait for Mountaineers. Um, oh, this. 5 centimeter Granat Werfer uh, und Dreisisch. Very good, very good. After we do that, new army plans, expand the Kriegsmarine, or create the Luftwaffe. Uh, strategic destruction doctrine, huh? Tactical research. Maybe we'll go down that way, maybe? Oh, keep Veva's... Oh. Go with Udet's ideas. I think we'll go with probably Udet, probably. Mm, rocketry, continue research. That's kind of cool. Um, we'll probably do new army plans. Oh, we probably... Oh. Side with the technocrats. Side with the reactionary officers. New army plans. The army's in dire need of modernization. We should start learning new, learning new doctrines if there are military needs. Great. Oh, we can just go up there. Nice, let's just do this one first. Early mobilization. Let's save our PP to go to partial mobilization, and then this one, which looks very, just great. 15, 15? Oh, yes, please. Man, uh, let's see. Technocrats. Ooh. Technically, we do want the new Bewegungskrieg to get mobile warfare, so as much as I love reactionary officers, we gotta do side with the technocrats, because we're gonna sideline them later. By siding with the technocrats, we can lower restrictions and regulations on private businesses and allow the German civilians to prosper. For now. With our control. But, well, starting in 1933, uh, this reminds me very, very, very much of um, Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron game, which was probably the game I spent the most time with in high school, either that or Call of Duty, but the NSDAP discards the Imperial Flag. In a rally in Nuremberg, the NSDAP has announced the end of the dual flag arrangement installed by Hindenburg in 33, and declared the Nazi flag is the only symbol of the country. Hammond Goring has even declared that, despite honoring the Imperial Flag, it's under threat of becoming a reactionary symbol, and thus was scrapped. One might wonder why Goring considers the NSDAP to be anti-reactionary, despite our frequent idealization of the past. A new flag for the Reich? Oh, oh, we don't even get to use the actual flag, man. Ah, I guess we got to use a UMC collection mod for that. It's fine. I need to play like mod sometime. Uh, oh, we can use this one. Let's go ahead, him and Boehm. Let's go with Von Klug. Vikes. Vikes has been here for the longest time. Ah, Billy Joel. Cool. Um, who do we want to promote? List. Blomberg. Von Bock is pretty darn good. He does get you less recovery rate, but more attack. I do like that. But we're unable to promote him because we need more uh, power there. New Bewegungs? We could do that. We could, I want to wait to do some more of this stuff, though. Reformal Auctions Grand Battle Plan. 
Ooh, no thanks. You get more max planning, less planning speed, more organization. Armor attack, heavy tanks, light tanks. Um, okay, not bad. Motorized plans, motorized, defense postures, more, less attack, more defense. That's not bad. Support brigades, that's not bad either. Oh, we can do this stuff too. Oh, the Nuremberg Rally. That sounds like a lot of fun. Formalized press control. Support the Reich's post. Expand the per cult of personality. Racial laws. Those sounds like fun. A new national holiday. Blut und Boden. Speer's architecture. Control the arts. Let's, let's control the arts first. In order to stifle public thinking, we must control artistic expression. Now we're doing that to get more political power so we can quickly go to war economy as fast as possible. It is still 35, of course. Let's see. This stuff is still craft. Uh, thick armor. Uh, motorized, we gotta wait for that just a little bit longer. Support companies are not bad. We might want to grab field hospitals, maybe. So let's just go and do that for now. Resource wise, what are we missing? We can trade away for one of these guys. Dutch Chiefs Indies. We will support the good old people of. No one. Siam. Actually, no. Not Siam. Sorry, Siam. Let's do the Argentine Republic. You never know if we might need an escape plan. Just saying. Alright. Ah, now this seems like a perfect opportunity for us to have a little bit of fun, but only if we could. Oh, no. Oh, oh we can't even train any more people. Oh, poop them out. I don't care. Poop them out. Oh, I want to send volunteers, man. Now, this should get Italy quite a while, right? Did they lose historically in 35 and then come back? I, I forget what historically happened over here, but. Oh, well, let's keep going down this side, though. Increase the naval budget. Uh, after we do versatile production, of course. This is 35. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some more fuel stuff. Oh, rubber would be good. Let's get some fuel capacity one, I guess. So, increase the naval budget. A strong fleet capable of rivaling the Royal Navy will be key to establishing yourself as a world power. So, we got two for naval doctrine. Not bad. Even though I think we are focusing more on battleships, technically, for the other naval doctrine, carriers are always good to have. Always, always, always good to have. So, <clears throat> not bad. I want to do the rally. The rally, I've heard it was really cool. Depending on who you ask, I guess. Uh, we have 100% stability, so... We're extremely stable. Partial mobilization. One, two. Not enough. Just not enough. Oh. Whoop. Nice. Keep going, guys. Accurator, you have no fuel, but... I don't care. Anything over here. Blockade runner. Very nice. And with 50, von, von Lieb. Go Von Lieb. Nice. Very nice. Uh, th synthetic rubber experiments. And then after that, we will do... MFO bills. We could do that. Limit foreign trade. Increase construction spending. Yeah, I'll do that one. Constantly using unemployed people as construction workers will give them something to do and cut down on unemployment. And maybe even reduce crime if they're too busy working. Very nice. And basically, by the end of this episode, we will have gotten to the beginning of where Hoi 4 starts in base game. Which is not bad. Alright, we're very close to getting to... Uh, <clears throat> oh, do we get another option here? Uh, workers, eh, gotta close that stuff. So. Promises of peace, eh, we can say whatever we need to say. Uh, automobile production, yes. I'm, I'm ignoring this for now, but... Well, wait. Motor vehicles are getting increasingly popular. We should promote them, as they can also serve a military purpose, which is probably pretty darn good. Donuts of submarine plans. Radio's grand battle plan fleet. We can choose either one. And plan D, or plan Z. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So, you know what, let me know in the comments below, guys. Should we do Donuts' plan um, with plan with for subbies and trade interdiction? Should we continue going down that way? We could. I mean, we've already went down the way a little bit. We, were, we already got two more attacks. Or should we go with Laredo's Grand Battle Fleet, which I kind of prefer. Maybe I wasted time with doctrines and stuff earlier, but I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Which way should we go? Light cruiser effort, heavy cruisers, screen design, new subs, and eventually, which will influence whether we do plan D or... Plan Z. So let me know in the comments below. And also we have better torpedoes here. That's not bad. Sub, sub attacks. As well as aircraft re carrier research. That's not bad. But let me know in the comments below. I think New Bewegungskrieg. That wouldn't be bad to grab. Really, a lot of this stuff can, I'm gonna just going to ignore for now. Oh, the front Italy. I'm in the Reich. Central European Balkan direction. There are still Germans living outside of Germany in Central Europe. We must work to liberate them from their oppressors. Which is very true. Claim all territories. Relinquish claims to the West. I don't know about that, man. That seems a bit extreme. But happy 1936, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great new year. All right, so let's go down here. Dispersed industry. Yeah, I like dispersed. Uh, yeah, dispersed is probably pretty good. Nice. And let's do one more focus before we end. Actually, we'll do that one, and we'll do one more to read it off screen. 
Cool. We'll probably go ahead and do... Oh. Poland? Are you okay? Do you want to say something to me, Poland? All right. Well, not bad. But let's go and read MEFO builds because we'll probably do this one. Organized through a Hajalmar Shocks, Metallurgia, Falschung's Gesellschaft, a front for our rearmament operations. MEFO builds are promissory, promissory totes. Note that armament manufacturers will be able to renew for money, which you can pay back after five years. Promising money cannot possibly go wrong. But if you enjoyed today's first episode, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link on the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we use this war economy and ramp up production by an extreme amount. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.